Welcome to this video tutorial from MailMaker123. In this tutorial you will learn how to create your first newsletter with our web-based email marketing software. You will learn how to use a template to create your newsletter, to add images, hyperlinks and email links, and to personalize your email with your subscriber's name. Just log in to your account at the bottom of our homepage at MailMaker123.com. If you don't have an account you can try it for free just click the button at the top of our home page. So the first thing you want to do is go to the mailmaker123.com home page. At the bottom of the home page in the blue login box you can log into your account. Today what we need to do is go to the create send tab so we can create a campaign from scratch. So let's go to the create new campaign. So what we have to do here is define the campaign and sender. The first field you're asked to fill in is the campaign name. Now this is what the campaign will be known to you as within your account, so it just has to make sense to you. So I'm going to call it the June Newsletter. The next field is the subject line of the email. Really you should give this a little more thought. Uh, you should try and make your subject lines compelling. This is what is going to be seen in your recipient's inbox and I will call it um, holiday ideas in Kenmare. The next field then is the from name. So this is telling the recipient who the email is from and this is where you should give your business name. Now it's a good idea to keep this um, from field the same throughout all your campaigns because this um, will mean that your recipient will get used to seeing uh, emails coming through from you. They'll begin to uh, get familiar with it, they'll, they'll trust it. The email field then will actually be the email address of your business and if somebody wanted to reply to this email then they would reply to info at cliptophouse.com. So press next. We have to select the format for the campaign. When you set up a free trial account with MailMaker123 the account you get is automatically has four basic templates in it. The black, the blue, the green and the purple. So these are just templates uh, that will allow you to play around with the editor to see how easy it is to create a newsletter. So in this case Clifftop has, has its own custom template so we'll select that one and press next. Okay so this area is the area where in the case of this template there's a uh, we can have a nice banner image in there so if I click on the replace key here it will allow me to browse out to my computer and select an image that I have ready. So I'll browse out now and once you have selected the image you want press save. Try to not have the image at very very high resolution. Large images will cause the template possibly to be rejected by certain spam filters. The next thing we want to do is click on the yellow icon here, the edit icon, which will allow us to enter some information into this letter area here. So this opens the editor above. So we can start typing here and as we type it will um, show up in this area down here. Dear, now I could just say dear friend, dear guest. If you have the first name or the name of your um, customer in your database then you can choose to personalize this newsletter so that it will say dear and the name. How you do that is you go here to the personalize option and choose first name. Now the thing is what happens if you don't have that name? If you have the name for some of your list but not for all others you need to put in a fallback so if I haven't got the name it's going to say dear friend. It could be dear guest, uh, dear customer, it depends on the business as to what's appropriate. Click save fallback text and we that's what it looks like. It's not going to look like that when the newsletter goes out as you'll see later. So to enter content into this area I can either type directly into the editor here or I can paste from my clipboard. When I choose to paste by using Control V in this case uh, a paste as plain text box opens. If I click inside it and do Control V again it will paste the contents of my clipboard and I press OK and that gets filled into my editor field up here. 
I'm actually going to highlight the top line here and make that bold. I'm going to highlight the bottom line and make that bold. As you can see, these changes are happening below here. We could select some text here. I can make it bold or and or change the color of the text. If I want to add a link, highlight the text and I click the insert edit link button over here and I would link out to the area that I want them to go to. Okay, so that's our our introductory note completed. I'll press save. The next thing to do is to enter some articles. So I'll click on the yellow pen icon again and I'm going to enter my title. Again I'll go down into this area to enter my text and I'm going to paste from my clipboard again. So Control V to paste. It opens up the plain text box. Control V again. OK, that's giving me a line of text. Now I might like to send my reader to my website to read more about these boat trips, so perhaps I might say read more. I will make that a link, so I'll hit insert edit link. Clip.pass.com, I'm just sending them to a home page, but you'd send it to a specific page, obviously. And the next thing you might like to do, I'll just show you down here that this article is getting filled in here. We've got our link our title, our text. The next thing we want to do is to enter an image. So we'll click insert image. Again I can browse out to my computer to select an image and press save to upload the image. Okay so our newsletter is taking shape. We have our header image, we have our introductory text and greeting, we have a, an article. If I wanted to add another article I just click add new item here just to point out in this template as well that we have a link up here to the website we have links here to in this case LinkedIn and Facebook you might also have perhaps a YouTube button or a um, TripAdvisor button down here you've got forward to a friend link this is really useful it gives a qualified referral of your business to the friends of your the subscribers on your list and you have an unsubscribe option now. It's um, very important to have an unsubscribe option to be spam compliant. We click preview email and this is what the newsletter will look like. The next step is to define the recipients. Now there are two things you can do here. You can either choose your list or you will type recipients manually. Now as you're starting out you may not have a list uploaded already and you're just trying this out seeing seeing how you like it. So you can click type in recipients manually and press next and here it gives you a field that you will allow you to type in the people you want to send the newsletter to. It tells it shows you here the correct formats to use. You can click to import these recipients and then you're ready to go. I'm going to go back to the previous screen and choose a list in this case and click next. So now we're back to the snapshot. It shows us the uh, campaign and sender information so you need to check everything there. Um, you can edit to change the content of your newsletter. This is in the content section and then you have the recipient section and I have chosen to send it to my list of four people. So I will go now to test and define delivery and I can either send a test email to myself by typing in an email address here and sending a test email which I will do in fact because I've previously sent test emails there it keeps a short list of the ones the addresses I've used and I'll send a test email to myself so go to your email box open it there make sure you're happy with everything click on all the links satisfy yourself that everything is working images are appearing correctly and when you're ready to go Again, you press next and now you're ready to send your campaign. You can choose to either send the campaign immediately or deliver at a pre-scheduled time and at that point you would send, click send campaign immediately and the newsletter would go out. If you'd like to learn more about how to build your list and combine email marketing, video and social media to grow your business, please visit our website at mailmaker123.com or scan this QR code.